This is Father Patrick F. Malone, a native of Mayo who, as a young man, joined the order of the Mary Knoll Fathers. He spent many years as a missionary in China before being posted to New York State. A keen lover of the movie camera, in 1947, Father Malone travelled back to Mayo and, camera in hand, produced a colour film, which he called Lovely Ireland. His film captured a rare scene, that of a girl and a man in Westport, twisting a homemade rope fashioned from straw. Lovely Ireland was premiered in 1948 at the Ancient Order of Hibernians Hall in Brooklyn, which brings us nicely to Colm Tobin's 2009 novel Brooklyn, to John Crowley's 2015 film of the same name, and to that very old ballad, Casa and Surgan, or The Twisting of the Rope. Tobin's novel and Crowley's film told the story of how and why a young and a scorthy girl, Eilish Lacey, played by Saoirse Ronan, ended up in New York. In one particular scene, Eilish and Father Flood are helping to serve food to a room full of homeless Irish immigrants, and Father Flood whispers to her, These are the men who built the tunnels, the bridges, the highways, God knows what they'll live on now. When he invites one of the men, Frankie Doran, played by Irla O'Leonard, to sing a song, silence descends upon the room and tears glisten in Eilish's eyes as Frankie sings Casa and Sugan. The writer of this beautiful ballad is unknown, but it seems that both melody and lyrics are rooted in the province of Connacht. A version of it was published in 1831 in James Hardyman's Irish Minstrelsy. Then in 1893, an English version the Sosheen Bawn, or the White Coverlet Bedspread, was included in Douglas Hyde's Love Songs of Connacht. In the accompanying notes, Hyde says that the song tells the story of a wandering bard, a roguish harper poet, who arrives one evening at a house occupied by a winsome girl and her practically minded mother. After a while, the bard tries to woo the girl, much to her mother's dismay. Thinking of a way to get rid of him without appearing inhospitable, the mother devises a cunning plan. She asks him to help her make a sugon, a rope made out of straw. Falling to the suggestion immediately, they begin the task inside the house, and as the rope gets longer, the bard steps backwards, each step taking them closer to the door. Once outside the house, the mother slams the door shut, <coughs> grabs his harp and flings it out of the window. Shocked, dejected and heartbroken, the forlorn bard decides to set to verse the romance that never was, and he includes the line, And the hag put me out, a twistin' of the Sugon. You could say that the song has parallels with the homeless man depicted in the film Brooklyn, in that they set out to court the American dream, but in the process found themselves on the streets. Douglas Hyde was obviously captivated by the story of the Romeo at the wrong end of the rope, 
so much so that he wrote a one-act comedy play called Casa and Sogon, in which he cast himself in the role of the bard, Tom Hanrahan. Written in Irish in 1900 and performed in Irish at the Gaiety Theatre in Dublin in November 1901, the storyline slightly differed from that of the song, but the outcome was the same. Hyde cast Moira Nikinija to play Una, the focus of Tom's affections. Ty Godonacha played Una's boyfriend, Seamus, and Eamon Kant fulfilled the role of the blind piper. The plot went as follows. Tom arrives at a country Cayley and casts his roving eye on Una, daughter of the woman of the house. After dancing to the music of the piper, Seamus asks Una's mother for permission to forcibly eject Tom from the building, which is denied. Seamus then leaves the house, but returns again to say that a mail coach had just overturned and that a rope was needed to tie up the mail bag that had fallen from it. When the assembled discover that there is no rope in the house, the proud yet tetchy bard declares that he will show them how to make a sugon the way they do in Connacht. During the course of his intricate demonstration, he reverses over the threshold, at which point the door is closed, and poor old Tom is never seen again. Returning now to the ballad Casa and Sogon, the first verse speaks of a man meeting the girl of his dreams in a green wood beside a lonely beach, just as dawn is breaking. In verse 2, he wants the world to know that he was an errant young man in the past, a light-hearted rogue who was fond of playing cards with the women. But this could well change, he says, because of a girl who has made his heart flutter. In the final verse, he poses the question, O God Almighty, what drove me to this land? And then tells of how the girl's mother had removed him from the house by inviting him to twist a rope. Coran shan van namach a casa an tsuganin me. And so ends the story of Casa an tsugan. No casa kalindias or on me no ignis na dra er lub na quilla is glisha or viog rum la shin raguru hog shiluam go kyu en augusta tla tana sail en a galla is boga mish an so shin bon sma vin to lum bilum a stor in mori sma vin to lum bilum o skor arti ma vin to lum skor lum Gakor lak del khri Shema vila knak Nak lum de duni tu marvni O de visa hal Emma vocale drum var gri. Is the visa hal al stim of ron cart lemni. O the visa hal al stim of ron kuig lim no three. Conger yen an van sha alon go dum a khri.
sa yena vart kada has sandu shame fikhlotu jark aval tum khar the girl or the horse is chat marif hark kostin gro mohlev karanjan van mak ega kasan su ganin me sma vin tu lom ilom astorin mohri Sma vien to lom ilom os kor ati. Ma vien to lom skor lom ka kor lak den kri. She ma vien knok na lom de doni tu marvni. Shem a viel a knock, na glum de doni tu marvni.